Hi, my name is Dakota Weiss. I'm the executive chef and part owner of Estrella. The dish I created for today is um, a really fun dish. I think it's really interactive and can be very fun for couples to make. We're gonna make a black truffle shrimp mousse ravioli. So the first thing you wanna do to make this dish is get your pasta dough made so it can rest and become nice and bouncy. I think the most difficult part of this dish is getting your pasta dough correct. You want it to not be too wet and not too dry. If it's too wet, it's gonna be mushy and not taste great. It won't have that nice toothsome feel to it. If it's too dry, it's not going to roll out properly, it's going to break. That's not good either. While that's resting, we're going to start to make the shrimp mousse. You just puree the shrimp with some cream, some cream cheese, some black truffle oil, salt, all these yummy ingredients to make it a really nice, smooth texture inside the ravioli. While you're pureeing the shrimp, it's really just about making sure everything is consistently moving. It's really just scraping the bowl, making sure it's seasoned. Once we have our filling made, we're going to go ahead and start rolling out the pasta dough. If you're really bold, Ballsy, then you can roll it by hand, but I'd be quite impressed if someone actually tried to do that. <laughs> I feel like this is a great dish for a couple to make because it really is a team player situation. Pulling out the pasta dough, cutting it, putting the filling in, they really need to work together and make this happen. Once we have our pasta rolled out to the right thickness, you're gonna wash it with a little bit of egg wash around it. You're gonna take your shrimp mousse and kind of pipe it into the center of each of these little circles. And then by hand, just kind of pinch it like a little half moon. While those are resting, you're going to take your panko crumbs, some toasted hazelnuts, and some brown butter, and you're gonna puree it all in the roboku. And you wanna kind of pulse it and it wants to have like a sand texture to it. You don't want it completely pureed, you don't want it mushy, you just want it to be kind of broken up a bit. Once that's ready, we're gonna take it into a saute pan, just toast it up a little bit more so it gets nice and crunchy, and then we're gonna set that aside. Now we're pretty much ready to put this dish together. We're gonna take our raviolis, a little bit of chicken stock and a little bit of butter, and this is called a glace. And we're basically going to reheat them in this glace, constantly moving your saute pan so they're getting evenly cooked and evenly coated in this chicken butter broth. We're gonna garnish our raviolis with a little bit of the hazelnut brown butter crumbs that you made, and that's a delicious, comforting, exciting date night dish.